Hi and welcome! So you're joining me today for a postnatal yoga for strength. We're going to lean on a lot of bar techniques for our class today. I am a firm believer that the postnatal period includes everything after pregnancy. So you can do this starting, you know, from six weeks after having your little one to forever. So I have my little one joining me today. This is Aira. She is a toddler. She is 19 months old and she loves to play. And the reason I have her joining today is because, whoa, she is going to knock down the camera. Because you'll find, you may find that a lot of the time when you are doing yoga postnatally, your little one is going to be involved. It is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, don't hurt yourself. It's a lot harder to do yoga while you're running after a little one. I will just say that and you will see this in the video today. So good learning experience. What else? Oh, so anytime you are practicing yoga postnatally, what you want to keep in mind. Oh my goodness. Since this is a little bit more of an active class than the regular yoga postnatal class that I that I have in this series. This one, you'll want to get clearance from your medical provider before before practicing this. Mama, mama. Yes, miss. Mama. And something else to note, this is not a class specifically for certain conditions like diastasis recti or for anything to do with pelvic floor health. If you have any issues with the pelvic floor or with separation of the abdominals, know that you'll probably want to see a physical therapist, a women's health or pelvic floor physical therapist, and they can help you with those issues more than this video can. Both birth and pregnancy and the postnatal period are such individual processes. So if there's anything that requires individual attention, please do seek out the care of a physical therapist or your medical provider. Um, and listen to your body always, always listen to your body, especially as you're getting back into movement practices. Oh, so prop wise today, bar exercises do use quite a lot of props. So you want your mat, you'll want some light weights. I have two and three pound weights that I'll be using. You'll also want a resistance band and a yoga block, a foam block most likely, and some wall space. And that is more or less, I think it. Wow. <laughs> so with that, we will get started. So we will start out with some very gentle sun salutations. I'll show you kind of the entry point into sun salutations postnatally, and then I'll mention some modifi modifications you can take as you become more comfortable with doing sun salutations again. But I'm gonna be showing the modified version. So you can start standing at the top of your mat. Wow. Standing at the top of your mat, and then take an inhale, reach your arms overhead. And then exhale to fold down over your legs. Oh, hello. Inhale, come into a halfway lift, finding some length through the spine. And then as you exhale, set your hands down. Come to hands and knees, tabletop. Take an inhale, draw your shoulders in and lift your heart. And as you exhale, round your spine. Inhale, cow pose, shoulder blades draw in. And exhale, cat, round the spine. Good, inhale back into a neutral spine, and then tuck your toes, lift your hips into a downward facing dog. And then you can pedal your legs a few times, stretching out the calves. Maybe nod your head, yes, shake it no. Hello. Gaze to your hands, walk your way up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold back down. Come up with a flat back, reaching the arms up. And exhale, hands into the center of your heart. I'll take a few more rounds. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, back to hands and knees. Now eventually, you may feel comfortable going from plank to the belly into a cobra pose. 
that's the version of sun salutations that you might take in a pre-prenatal body. But coming back to postnatal yoga, you might not want to go flat on your belly right away. I know for me, that was kind of uncomfortable to do after so many months of avoiding the belly. So take your time coming into these shapes. And especially if you have any separation of the abdominal muscles postnatally, and you know that that is an issue, you may not want to go into plank pose right away. Well, hello there. Did you read your book? Oh my goodness. So I'll just be demoing cat and cow, but I'll link to some videos that go into um, some demonstrations for other variations of sun salutations. So cat and cow, what does cat say? Inhale into cat. Inhale into cow pose. Cat. Arch in the back. Good job, you. Exhale, round your back. Inhale back into your neutral spine. Oh my goodness. Lifting the baby. Lifting the baby. Lifting the baby. Wow. Read mommy your book, please. Read to mommy. Yeah. Tuck your toes. Lift into downward facing dog. Gaze to your hands. Tiptoe up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And fold back down as you exhale. Lift up with a flat back. Breathing in, and hands to the center of your heart. A couple more rounds. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold down. Halfway lift, breathing in. Exhale, into your tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat, round your back. Inhale, into a neutral spine. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Good, gaze to your hands, tiptoe your way up. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale all the way up, arms lift. Exhale, hands to your heart. Oh my goodness. Inhale, sweep up, last round. Exhale, fold your way down. Inhale, spine lengthens. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. Wow, where's Zara? Exhale, round the back. Ha, you scared me. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Face to your hands, tiptoe up. Inhale, halfway lift. Where's Zara? Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Coming back into mountain pose. We'll do a few push-ups at the wall. So as I mentioned, when you're getting back into postnatal yoga and bar, you want to go slow. So eventually, you may be doing push-ups down on the ground in a modified plank or in a full plank. But as you're starting out, you want to take a wall variation. Can you do a push-up? Yeah. Show mommy. Show mommy your push-up. Yeah. Oh my goodness, show mommy the push-up. So to do your push-ups at the wall, come to the wall. Bring your hands flat. You want to angle your hands just slightly in, fingers slightly in. Come into your plank position, coming onto tiptoes. Straighten the arms, broaden the chest. Take a breath in. Exhale, go halfway down. Good. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale up. Exhale down. We'll do 10 more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Oh my goodness, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last four, and lift, and we'll hold it halfway point. Lift, for two, Lift. This last one, hold it a halfway point. Tiny little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let that go. Come into a half dog. Walk your hands around the wall. Lengthen your spine. Good. Oh my goodness. Yes. Good job, Aira. So come out of your half dog. Just shake out your arms, out your legs. We will next move into some thigh work. 
time is of the essence here you are with a little one I found. So we'll get straight to it. This class will be a little bit shorter than the previous class because you may have less time. So straight into thigh work, we'll start with a goddess um, and do some pulses there. So to come into your goddess, point your toes out, heels in. We want a wide stance here and then bend your knees down. So coming down into a point that feels um, like your thighs are working, but that it's sustainable. So once you're settled here, just look down, make sure your knees are in the same direction as your toes. And then start to take a little teeny tiny pulses down. So little pulses, just down an inch, down an inch. Hmm. Your hands can be at your hips to start. We'll eventually think about lifting them up. But for now, have little pulses down and down and down. What you doing, Miss Aira? So again, you want to be at a level that is sustainable something that feels like the legs are working but that you can stay here good and we're also going to work the outer thighs here so take your hands to the backs of the thighs and start to press your thighs into your hands press out and out and out good do eight of those eight seven six and then we'll change it up for four three two on one, go out and hold, out and hold that press, out and hold, out and hold. Good, lower down two more inches, keep pressing out and hold, out and hold, just like that. Wow. Out and hold. Wow, you're so strong. Now, as you are doing this, think about lifting the pelvic floor muscles up, up, up. So pelvic floor is lifting and your thighs are pressing out. Oh my goodness. So we're not doing um, pelvic floor lifts. Well, we're not doing Kegel exercises here. Nothing extreme, but just a general sense of strength in the pelvic floor of everything being contained and nothing being loose. So as you're pressing, think press out and hold, out and hold. You just want to feel that the pelvic floor is supporting you here. Out and hold. And wow! Out. Good job. Now go down, press out. Down, press out, staying low, down, press out, down, press out for eight, seven, then we change it up, six, for five, down and press, down and press, down and press, last two, on one hold right here, good, little lifts of your heels up and down, up and down, lifting both of your heels. If it's too much to do both of them at once, you can alternate side to side. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Do you want mommy's hand? Did you fall down? Lift and lower. Good. Lift your heels and press out on your thighs. Lift and press. Lift and press the thighs out. Lift and press. For eight and then a final hold. Seven. Oh my goodness. Six. For five, calves might be shaky here. Four, three, oh, don't eat that. Two, on one, hold right here. Lift your arms overhead, everything balanced. Lift the heels an inch higher. Lower your pelvis an inch lower. Lift up through the pelvic floor. Hold right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, no. Let that go, shake out your legs. Oh, no, don't eat the blood. I'm going to take that block. We're going to use the block for the next exercise. We'll come into to it right away. Slide that block in between your legs, in between the thighs. Don't eat this one either. Hey, did you see your hat? Oh my goodness, you're in a hat. So come to the wall. Fingers can touch the wall. Take the hand that's not at the wall to the hip. And then lift your Heels and lower, so some more calf work. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So this block is helping to work the adductors, the muscles of the inner thighs. That last thigh set was working on the muscles of the outer thighs. We lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, eight and seven, six more like this, and then we change it up. Good job, for four, Three, two, oh, 
Oh, you're gonna get off the camera. I see you. I know, I know. Hold the heels up. Bend your knees. Keep squeezing on the block. And then pulse down an inch. Good job. Down an inch. And down an inch. Little pulses down. And down. I'm staring at my camera person. Down. Oh, you hear you. Don't touch that. Down an inch. Little pulse down an inch. Good. Everything in one straight line. So little pulses now. Down an inch. Down an inch. Down an inch. High down there. Down an inch, down an inch, down an inch. Good. Squeezing it on the block. Squeeze now. Squeeze in and in and in. Little pulses. In and in and in. Okay, good. Little pulses in, in and in. Go down, squeeze in. Down, squeeze in. Down, squeeze in. High down there if you want up. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze for eight, for seven, six, five and change, four and squeeze, three and two, and two. And on this last one, hold that squeeze. Now go in, in, in. Triple pulse, in, in, in. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Really nice. For eight, eight, eight. Seven, squeeze, squeeze, six, five, squeeze, squeeze, four, squeeze, squeeze, two, and then we change. On one, hold the squeeze, go full range now. Go down, lift up, down, and up, down, and up. Oh my goodness, it's okay if the thighs are starting to get a little shaky, legs are getting shaky. Oh no, Miss Sarah, what's happening? Down and lift. Down and lift. Do eight of those and then we'll have our final hold. For seven, six, for five and then we hold. For four, ah! three, two, one, hold this lift, hold the squeeze, lift your heels an inch higher, lower your pelvis an inch lower. Keep lifting up through the pelvic floor. Lift your hands overhead. Maybe even pick up your little one if they're nearby. Hold your squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, an inch lower, four, three, two, on one. Shake, 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 shake. Shake everything. Shake the legs. We'll keep it to two five sets today. I think that's enough. Um, especially with this little one, this day we're running around. So we'll just go ahead and stretch out the legs. Bend one knee, catch the foot. Point that knee straight down, lift the crown of the head straight up. Switch legs, bend the knee, catch the foot, lift through the chest, lift through the crown of the head. Wow. Are you going to do a handstand, Miss? We'll take the legs the opposite way. Catch the foot or catch the leg behind the, behind the hamstring or behind or catch the, the leg behind the hamstring or around the front of the shin and just squeeze it into your body. And then switch. Other leg. Shin or the hamstring, squeeze it in. Oh my goodness. All right, let that go. And then you will stack one leg onto your imaginary bar, onto the wall. I have a nice panel here that I'm setting my heel onto. Direct your hip points to face that wall, lift through the crown of your head. You can either stay upright or take a gentle fold of your leg. the leg and switch sides so opposite leg comes up to your imaginary bar or up to the wall lift 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 up through the upper body and then you can either stay lifted or take a gentle fold maybe catching the leg or catching the wall in front of you hello miss
And let that go. You're putting your pants on, good job. We will move to our arm set now. So I'm starting with my three pound weights. Uh, we'll drop down to a lower the th or the, the two pound weights. But starting with these three pound weights, I'll take my arms out to an angle with the weights in my hands, oh. palms face up. And then right away start to lift and lower and lift and lower. So we're doing bicep curls for to start. You can also do this without weights at all. Oh my goodness. Um, and one really good way to practice these exercises, I did not mention this before, but you can absolutely practice these with, with your little one if they are small, baby age, um, with a carrier on. So all of these things that I've just done, um, besides coming down for those sun salutations, all of those things can be done wearing your baby. She is too big to be worn at this point. Uh, but these arm strengthening exercises are really good for preparing your body to carry your little one around because trust me, they get bigger. Just do four, three, and then we'll change for two. On one, come to a halfway point and then do tiny little pulses up an inch, up an inch. So you're squeezing that bicep as you're lifting. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. But as I mentioned, you don't need to use weight at all. You can definitely use body weight. So as you're doing these, really think about moving your arms through water with those full range ones and holding water with those little pulses. Good. For eight, seven, six, and we go back to full range. Four, three, two, full range. Lift and lower, lift and lower. For eight, seven, six, and then we change. For five, Four, hello, three, two, on one, hold at this halfway point, go to the side and side, side and side. So strengthening the rotator cuff, the shoulder muscles that rotate the arms, side and side. As you're doing this, keep thinking of still lifting up through the pelvic floor, still thinking about a gentle engagement of the abdominals. Everything stacked. Yes. So ankles under hips, hips under shoulders. Good. Side to side. Hello for four, three, then one last time, full range. Two and one. Go full range. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Just eight. Hello. Seven. Six. For five. This is bonus work. For three, then last time with a little pulse. Two, on one, little pulse all the way to the bottom and then halfway up. Low and high, low and high. So that end range of motion. Let's do eight for seven, for six, then we move to the next set. Four, three, two, on one, take your arms all the way up, palms facing towards one another, and then go into a cactus shape, lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. Do eight of these, seven, six, five, and then we hold for four, three, pushing up to the ceiling, two, on one, hold your cactus shape, tiny little punches up in the air, up, up. Little punches up, up, and up. Really think about drawing your lowest ribs towards your pubic bone. So rather than splitting through the low back, everything is engaged. Little pulses up and up for eight, seven, six, and back to full range. Four, three, two, on one. Lift and lower halfway. Lift, cactus arms. Lift and lower, lift and lower for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, then back to that halfway point. One, hold right here and then go in with your arms and out. Chest press in and out. Anytime you need to, you can shift down in your weight. So maybe dropping down to your two pound weight at any time that this becomes too much. Anytime you get, you feel like the form is being compromised, you'll definitely want to drop down in and out. 
in and out. Hold in. Little pulses with your arms up, up, and up. Good. Go for eight, seven, six, five. Then we go back out. Three, two, on one. Go out and in, out and in. Good. Do eight, seven, six. And then we pulse in. Five. to your lowest set of weights if you need to. Two more things for the arms and then we stretch them out. Hello, Miss Ava Goo. Bend at your knees. Angle your spine. Reach your arms forward and then draw them in. In and down. Imagine you're moving your arms through water or honey or molasses. In, in, and in. Squeezing the elbows alongside your ribs as you're moving. In and in. Good. Give me eight of those. Seven. Six. Core engaged. Navel drawing in. For five. Four. Three. And then we hold. Two. On one. Hold right here. Tiny pulses up with the arms. Up. Little pulses up. Elbows lifting up. Lift and lift. Broad through the chest. Lift and lift. Navel drawing in. Good. For eight, six, four. Then we go back to full range. Two, on one full range. Go down and lift. Down and lift. For eight, seven. Oh no, six. For five, four. And then we change. Three, two. On one, hold right here, pulse the elbows in, 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 and in. Good. For eight, seven, six, and a change. Four, three, two. On one, tricep extensions. Lengthen the arms and then bend. Lengthen and bend. Lengthen and bend. So, starting with full range, lengthen. Good. Go eight of those. Seven. Palms still spinning in towards one another. Five, four, and then we hold. Three, two, one, hold right here. Imagine you're clapping your hands. Clap in, in, in. In, in, in. Good, for eight, seven, six, five, four, then we change to full range. On one, okay, go just halfway out and then back up. So just to the level of your hips instead. So halfway, lengthen and bend. Lengthen and bend, extend and bend, extend and bend. Go eight, seven, six, then we change. Five, four, three, two, on one, hold that length. Lift the arms up an inch, up an inch, up an inch. Good, do eight, seven, six and a change. Four, three, Two on one, go halfway and lengthen. Halfway and lengthen. Last set like this. Halfway and lengthen. Do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, lengthen all the way. Give me a little bend, big stretch. Little bend, big stretch. Little bend, big stretch. Good. Do eight of these in the final hold. Seven, six. Five, 
my arms are burning. Four, three, two, on one, hold right here. Hold that reach, lift the arms two inches higher. Draw the hands in, lift onto your tippy toes maybe. Keep lengthening, straightening the spine, hold here. Good, go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set those weights aside. Shake, shake, shake out your arms. <sighs> Cross your left arm over your body. Gaze the opposite way. <sighs> Breathing in and out. Either stay as you are or circle the extended arm. Circle the wrist, that is. Circle the opposite way. Change sides. Right arm crosses. Gaze can go left. Breathing in and out the nose. <sighs> Circle the wrist. Circle both ways. And let that go. Take your yeah, let's do this tricep stretch at the wall. So usually you would do this at, at a bar, but we'll just do it at the wall. Um, if you have a bar, use that. Take your hands, clap them, or just palms to palms, slide them together. And then bend your elbows, set them to the wall, and then walk down. So it's like you're doing half dog at the wall, except your elbows are bent, palms are in a prayer. Bend the elbows and then think about touching your thumbs to the nape of your neck, really long through the spine. Navel draws towards your spine. Release the hands, walk back towards the wall, check that out. Take your resistance band, one more stretch, two ways, and then we'll start our seat work. Take your resistance band, you'll want to make a circle with the band that's about the size of your hips-ish. Take that and lift your arms overhead. You can take your thumbs into the resistance band. And I'll lower down just to make sure you can see the, few, the full view. And then just think about drawing your arms back as far as feels comfortable while continuing to extend the arms. So no bent elbows here. Arms lifting. And you might find a nice opening for the chest here. Good, now keep your thumbs in that resistance band and then bend the elbows. And then extend the arms and bend the elbows. This can be a really nice stretch for the, for the pecs, for the chest. Extend and bend and extend. Two more. And let that go. Last one with this band. Take it behind you now. You can take your wrists into the band. Draw your shoulder blades in. Extend the arms back and open through the chest. This is another nice opening for the front of the heart, front of the chest. You can add just a gentle stretch for the neck, maybe dropping one ear to one shoulder. Back through center, drop the opposite ear to the opposite shoulder. Back through center, and let that go. Roll your shoulders out a few times. What happened? Are you getting into all kinds of trouble in there? So for our seat work today, we'll do it standing. This you can also do wearing your baby. Um, if they're in a carrier and if they are still small. I'm going to switch down to the two pound weight. You can also do this with one pound weight or no weight at all. So we are going to come towards the wall, start with the weight in the space between the hamstring and the calf on the right leg. You can have your hands at the wall. You can also have the hands at the hips if you can balance here. And then flex through the foot and then you're just going to push 
the heel back as, as if, oh my goodness, are you okay in there? Hi, miss, come on, come here. So push the heel back as if you're pushing it into a wall behind you. You want to make sure that that right knee stays in the same line as your left one or slightly farther back. Both hip points are facing towards the wall. Push, push, and push. Good. Push, push, and push. Do eight like that. Seven, six, five, and we change. Four, three, two, on one, go back and hold. 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 For eight, hello. Seven, hello. Narada. For five, no change. Four, three, two, and one. Hold right here. Now bend the heel towards the glute. Bend up and lower. Lift the heel and lower. Lift and lower. So working that hamstring muscle. Lift and lift. Good. Do eight. Seven, then we change. Six. Hello, miss. Five. Four. Three. Two. On one. Press back. Lift up. Back and lift. Back and lift. Press and bend. Press and bend. Hello there. Press and bend. Press and bend. Do eight. Can you count from eight? Seven. Six. Five, four, and then we hold. Three, two, on one, hold right there. Press the heel back, lift the heel up, hold that engagement, maybe lift both arms overhead. Hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Woo, switch sides right away. Take the, the weight into the hook of your knee, back of the knee, bend that knee. Again, you want to make sure hip points are forward. Knees are in line. If not, the left one slightly behind the right. You want to make sure pelvic floor is lifting, core is engaged. And then start to press the foot back. Heel is flexed, foot is flexed. Press back and back. Little pulses. Back, back, and back. Little pulses. Slight bend of your standing legs. You're not locking out. Oh my goodness. Press. Press, 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 back and back and back. Oh my goodness, I have a, a little extra weight here. Press and press. Go eight, seven, then we change. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Good. Do four, three, two, on one. We're going to hold, press, back and hold. Back and hold. Can you do this too? Back and hold. Back and hold. Press and hold. Press and hold. Good job for eight, for seven, six, five, let me change, for four, three, two, on one. Hold the heel back. Draw the leg in and in and in. So tiny little draw to the heel toward the bum, engaging through the hamstring as you do. Lift, lift, and lift. Tiny little movements, but big sensation here. Lift, lift, and lift. Wow, lifting, lifting, lifting. Good job. You have your solar system shirt on. You look great. Yeah, good. Go eight, seven, six, let me change. Five, four, three, two, go back and lift, back and lift. Tiny little pulses. Press and lift for six, five, then we hold. Four, three, two, on one, hold right here. Maybe lift both arms up, press the heel back, lift the heel up, hold that engagement. Hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we'll move straight into the side seat and then we'll stretch it out and work our way down. <laughs> so we'll start with the right leg again. Nanai. 
So we're doing a little fire hydrant action. I'll, I'll stay here. Um, we're going to take that, that weight into the back of the knee again, and we're doing a little fire hydrant action here. So you'll lean forward just slightly, point the toes this time, and then lift the leg out to the side and back in. We'll start with full range. So lift and back, lift and back. So you're not going all the way back to so the, the thighs touch, you're just going about halfway back. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, do eight of those. Seven, six, four, five, and then we hold the leg up. Four, three, two. Then, then. I want to hold the leg up. Then, then. Tiny little lifts of the outer thigh, the outer knee, up an inch, up an inch, up an inch. Good, up an inch, up an inch. You may start to feel the outer, the side seat, the outer glute burning. Good, lift and hold, lift and hold. Lift and hold, lift and hold. Go eight, six, four, then we change, two, good. Go back down and up, lower and lift. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, then we hold it up, two, on one, hold it up, go lift, and then press out with the heel, lift, Flex the foot, press out. Lift and flex. Point and flex. Lift and press the heel. Go eight, seven, six. Then we go one more step. Five, hello. Four, hello. Three, two, on one. Last time, full range. Go down and lift. Down and lift. Go eight, seven, Six, five, then a final hold. Four, three, two, on one, hold the leg up, hold right here. Hold here, point the toes, lift the leg up another inch, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Ready, ready, are you ready? Okay, so put the, the weight into the inside of the knee. Keep facing towards the wall. Leg hand rests on the wall. Lift the leg up and halfway down. Lift and lower, finding that fire hydrant action. You might notice this second side is a lot harder because you have just worked the muscles that are <laughs> allowing you to stand on that right leg. Lift and halfway down. Lift and halfway down. That is okay. We are working both sides of the body here. Do eight of these. Seven. Six. Five, then we hold it up. Four, three, two, on one. Keep the leg up, press the leg up. Little lifts up. You can even take your left hand to the outside of the thigh. That's where you want to be pressing. Press up into your hand, lift and lift. Chest can still work towards squaring towards the wall. It's okay if you're opening up slightly. Press and press and press. Good. Keep squeezing on that weight. Hold it. Lift. Oh my goodness. Lift and lift. Do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to full range. Good. Go halfway down, back up, halfway and lift. Yeah. Lower and lift. Go for eight, seven, six, Five, and then we hold it up. There are your pants. For three, two, on one, hold the leg up, lift, press with the heel. Lift and lower, lift and press. So pointing the toes and then flexing. You're lifting the leg up and pressing into the heel. Good job. Give me eight. For seven, then one last set, full range. Six, for five, four, three, two, on one. Go halfway down and lift, halfway and lift. Good, eight of those and then our final hold. For six, legs might be shaking. For four, three, oh my goodness. Mama, two, mama, mama. On one more hold right here. Avery, can you hold with me? Yes, hold here. Keep the toes pointed, lift, 
squeeze the glute. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And one, shake your legs out, shake your legs out. And then cross your right ankle over your left thigh. <sighs> Breathing into the outer hip. Wow, I had this counterbalance here. Oh my goodness. Breathing here. Wow, well, are you okay? Okay, and then switch sides back into your little chair. Bend your, lift your right ankle onto the left thigh. You can take your left hand to the inside of that leg. Just gently draw the knee down. Oh no, are you okay, miss? Hey, can you shake everything? Can you shake your head? Yeah. <laughs> Can you spin around? Can you, oh no! <laughs> Can you clap your hands? Yeah. Okay, and let that go. And then we're just going to take a forward fold over our legs. So take your hands to the back, to your low back. Oops. Give the back a little bit of love. Take your hands down the back of your body, backs of your legs, and fold forward. You can take a deep bend in your knees if that feels nice. Take your hands to your opposite elbows and rock a little side to side. Can you do this, miss? Rock a little side to side. Can you do this? Is that your head? trimester too, even a little bit after, should be very, very gentle uh, because, you know, you're working to gather all of this energy back in when you had just been so expanded in this space. So a lot of the energy of the core work that we do postnatally is just gentle gathering. Wow! Wow, you are up. Good job. So the best way to do that really is just breathing. This can be done standing, it can be done seated, it can be done lying on the ground. Find where it's comfortable for you. You're up! So if you're wearing baby, that's okay, or if you're holding baby, that's okay. You can do this as you're up and holding baby. As we're doing this core work, you're also whether you know it or not, whether you're doing it intentionally or not, you are also working on the strength of the pelvic floor. So we're going to be doing something that you'll see a lot of my prenatal videos with, which is um, diaphragmatic breathing and adding a little bit of noise to that diaphragmatic breathing. Keep one hand right on top of your navel, other hand on top of your heart. And you can keep your eyes open, especially if there's a little crying right around, or... <laughs> oh no, that's your jacket, can you put it on? Or you can close your eyes if you feel safe doing so, or if someone else is there to watch your little one. And you'll just start to breathe here. So notice where the breath is. Yeah, <laughs> if there are sounds around, just let them be. And just start to take the breath around the area of the belly, around the navel. Expanding the back of the neck. And softening as you exhale. start to vocalize with a little bit of a shush. Maybe this will uh, settle Abra also. Breathe in. Exhale. 
you'll start to feel navel drawing in everything before sitting in. Breathe in, belly soft. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Can you sit there? Breathe in. Exhale. As you breathe in, think of keeping some of that engagement in the core. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, still a sense of gentle engagement. Abdominal still working. Exhale. Good, inhale. Exhale. At the bottom of that exhale, think of lifting through the pelvic floor. Inhale, softening just a touch, still some engagement. Exhale, lifting. Inhale. Exhale. Change it up. Inhale. Exhale with an F sound. Inhale. Exhale. Lifting. Inhale. Exhale. Changing it up again. Inhale. Exhale with an S sound. Lifting with the pelvic floor. Inhale. Exhale. Right, and do this at your own pace. So if this is too fast, too slow, if you become dizzy, definitely slow it down. Inhale. Exhale, lifting. Navel drawing in. Inhale. Exhale like a snake. Mama, Mama, Last time, Mama, Mama. Inhale. Mama, Mama. Exhale with an H Mama. sound. <laughs> Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, H sound. A lifting pelvic floor. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Release that breathing. Take a few normal breaths in and out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then wherever you are, whatever's going on around you, just take a moment of gratitude for <laughs> your body, for your beautiful little one, for all of the wonder of yourself and of how fish it will go. Love your little one too. I love you. <laughs> That's what mommy means. Hey, do you want to take a nap? Yeah? You want to take a little nap? All right, thank you so much for joining both of us today. We are so happy to have you here. You know what we're doing. Say bye-bye. Okay, see you next time. Thank you.